separates Louisiana up from the Lone Star State. It's called the Sabine. Father changed it when I crossed the border a few okay. years back. So, uh, where are you from? Benton, Benton, Louisiana. And right. I hopped across the river right out of high school, and I've been in Texas, living in Orange ever since. Right on. So that's uh, how long have you lived in uh, Orange area? Ah, uh, well, since about uh, '85, I guess. So pretty 85. good while. So that's a minute or two. Yeah. Right on. Uh, you play around here a lot. Uh, you know, once or twice a month around here, I, I play out west, out uh, in the hill country, some and around Austin, some, and right so I just kind of get around when I can. Um, so you've toured, you've been around a little bit. Is there anything you've seen in other areas that you'd like to see more of around here? Uh, you know, it seems like out around uh, the in the hill country in the Austin area, um, they uh, they take to the singer songwriters. And uh, a, a little more, they seem like they uh, they welcome the original material more. And it seems like in our area, uh, they want to hear things uh, they've heard before. They right. they want to hear Jimmy Buffett and right. some maybe, covers. Well, maybe if we get a little more support from the local radio station, <laughs> well, too, we might yeah. they might have heard some of us well, before yeah. we got there and play. 
Yeah. So that's that's a pretty big difference that I see, and one of the reasons that I really like playing out there. Right on. And uh, when you write songs, do you have a particular method? Do you write the words first? Do you write the music first? Or <sighs> case you know, by case, kind of. I'm, they've come to me both ways. Uh, I don't have a concrete method, so to speak, that I go by. Uh, I just uh, I take it where I can get it, you know, where the inspiration uh-huh. strikes. You know, I've written songs before uh, that came out of just a a little riff, something that I was playing on the guitar. But most of the time, it most of the time it comes from a couple of lines that I come up with or a couple of ideas. Sometimes the best ones take about thirty seconds to write. Yeah, yeah. The ones you really struggle with, you think they're gonna be great. Yeah, overthink them. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. Have you ever taught music? Or do you have a music teacher? Did anyone teach you? No, uh, I've never had... uh, I did take a lesson one time. I took one lesson and uh, and it just didn't work out. I understand. I've never... (laughs) I had a band in high school, but not Uh not anything with a guitar. You come from a musical family? Uh, My dad was a singer and and, uh, sang around this area, you know, in southwest Louisiana. Um, You know, he was in a, a big band. You know, they had the horns and all that back in the day. Like, uh, like big band music. Well, like no, swing? no, but they, um, they, but they just had a lot of, a lot of players in that band. Mm-hmm. What's your fondest musical memory? Fondest musical memory, man. Um, one of the funnest times I've had making music uh, was was making my first album uh, several years ago What's with a friend of mine. It's called uh, Veterans Grocery. And I made it with a, a friend of mine, Walt Wilkins, who's a great writer. Um, you asked me earlier songs I wish I'd have written. Any of his, I wish I'd have written. <laughs> but uh, but we're fixing to make a, another record. Uh, we've got the studio uh, booked for in September. So we're going to go in and record some more. So I'm looking really forward to that. Well, so I love recording. I got to kind of get to hang with myself, so I can do a little more of it, but. Have you ever met any of your influences or here? Yeah, yeah, Walt, Walt Wilkins uh, is, has been a big influence of mine. And uh, um, let's see, who else? I met uh, Skip Ewing one time, who I, I used to think a whole lot of. You know, in my younger days, I used to listen to a lot of his music. Met him one time. But, yeah. That's cool. There's so many people that that inspire me that, that I could I'd probably tell you their names and you wouldn't know who they were but they're, cool. they're not famous this people, didn't offer me you know but they uh, but anyway yeah. do you have a favorite local musician um favorite local musician man we've got a bunch and I hate to I hate to name just one but uh, I love listening to Jerry Mullins right. uh, Jerry Jerry's kind of the one that, that inspired me many, many years ago to pick up a guitar and try to, I, I saw him at the Hofbrau one time, uh, sitting uh, behind a pot plant over there, kind of playing guitar and singing. And I thought, that's got to be the happiest guy in the world to be able to sit there and play guitar and sing. Hofbrau, where was that at? Well, I think, it's called, on I think it's called Crazy Cajuns or something okay. now. It was a but this was back a long, man, long time ago. Yeah, well, I remember it. And then, um, Many, many, fast forward many years, and I'm playing music, and me and Jerry have become the best of friends. He's a great guy. Mm. Do you consider yourself more of a singer or a songwriter? I would have to say I'm probably a, a better singer than a songwriter. Uh, I, I uh, for a long time, I, I don't really even consider myself a songwriter because I don't put that hat on every day and write songs every day. You know, I've written songs. I tell people, I've, yeah, I've written songs, but I've also put a band-aid on my kid's foot one time, but that doesn't make me a doctor. You know what I mean? Fair enough. You know, so. Um, where would one find your past recordings? Uh, iTunes, Amazon, any of the Spotify. And uh, you mentioned something earlier about future plans. Were you going to record something else? Yes, and we're going to uh, uh, make another record in September mm-hmm. with uh, 212 new songs that I've written. 212? No. <laughs> no. With t- 12 new songs. 10 12, okay. 10 12 new well, songs. Well, I, I didn't, didn't understand what you said there, did I? <laughs> That's a lot. It's a lot of songs. Is there anything else? Or is there any advice that you would uh, give to people getting started in music? 
Oh man, just uh, do it for the right reason. Don't go into it thinking you're going to be a star or that you're, I mean, if you're doing it for that reason, you're going to be sorely disappointed, oh, yeah. you know. Just love the music and have fun with it. Don't take it too serious. Anything else you'd like to offer? No. All right, how about one more song for us? Okay. Um, I wrote this song after Hurricane Harvey. Um, I was knocked out by all the, the love that showed up out of all that water. People came from all over the place. We all prayed about the wind. We all prayed about the rain. We all questioned our sins and how our way of life would change. We all wondered where to turn. We all wondered what to do. We all turned to each other when that storm was through. Waters rise, the people rise above. The greatest force of nature is the power of love. The kindness of strangers runs deeper than any flood. Thank you, sir. All right, man.